Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming in and taking a seat. And it is Everyday May. I did this look for a date night. Now we're going to the movies. We're going to dinner. I don't want to do too much, but at the same time, I think I am going to throw in some lashes just because it's a special occasion. The hair is um, new. Yeah, this is from OMG her hair and it is the Gabrielle Union unit. I am loving it. I just don't want to do too much to the face so that's why I use my simple, easy, beautiful products that I have been loving. So if you're interested in this look and also this is going to be a review of the Persona palette. A great everyday palette. I'm giving a spoiler you guys but this is Everyday May, so I wanted to show you guys Everyday palettes that check all the boxes. So if you're interested in this review and this look, then keep watching. Everything that I'm using will be down below. I kind of low-key want to kind of spray my hair with this. Um, kind of wanted to put this. I kind of like the wet look with this hair. I'm going to pin it back a wit or throw it back, and we're going to concentrate on a Z face. So this is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon Pencil. Micro, micro pencil. The Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I like that. Uh, this is the Hourglass and Radiance Bronze Light. Next we'll go into blush. I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient lighting edit surreal light and just sweeping it as you can see the strobe does that the finishing powder blurs now let's move on to the everyday palette this is everyday may so i wanted to show you guys an everyday palette and we're going into the persona palette this is a review by the way i know i'm doing tutorial but this is a review you get six matte and six shimmer you get 12 shades all together. These are absolutely beautiful. Love the packaging. It looks very Parisian to me. And Persona. What I love about this is that Sona Gasparian, I think I'm saying her last name correctly, she made the identity palette. And I love the fact that her name is in Persona Cosmetics. So, and Persona, like who you are. This is the identity palette. I love it. She has amazing buttery shades and metallics. A really great mirror that I have ruined, which that's the whole point. But she has picked out some amazing shades. You can tell when a makeup artist has selected shades. I love makeup artist palettes that are also creators. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. I love the fact that she has the names on the back and on the palette. This this palette like checks all the boxes for me. She does have 12 shades and each pan contains 0 0.04 ounces of product or 1.2 grams. Okay, let me talk about the size of the pans. I really do like this because number one, I have been known to use some of these as highlighters, some of these as blushes, and when I look for a palette these days, I look for a multi-purpose palette because I'm that working mom that doesn't have time. And if I can dip into one palette and do everything and make this kind of like a face palette for me, I'm totally down. So the pans aren't are big enough. There are other brands that have the well so small that you can barely sometimes put your brush in it. But I really do like the size of these square pans. And so let's get into what I'm going to put on my face. I'm going to take Humble and just sweep it. These are so buttery. Like I feel like this is such an easy palette even for someone that does not know how to do makeup. Next palette i love that the placement of the shadows too because that's really important for inspiration for a, a palette i'm gonna go into charming this is like my favorite shade in this palette and if you notice when i put my brush in there you don't see a lot of kick up that is a good thing you i do have palettes that give a lot of kick up but you almost feel cheated because you feel like you're gonna run out of the product faster than you normally would if you did not have 
a palette that didn't have a lot of kick up. So I love the fact that they're buttery. They're super blendable. And I'm only gonna use, I think, maybe two shades, just charming and maybe like a shimmer shade. And that's gonna be it because I don't wanna overdo it. Okay, so this is what I wanted to say about the palette. The mattes are super blendable like I just showed you. I uh, do I want to bring a little bit more warmth. I'm, I'm going to keep it right there. No, I'm not. I'm going to go into a little bit of Audacious. I love to warm up. I love the fact that I also can do cool tone and warm tone with this palette. Warm tone looks, uh, by the way. And the other thing that I like, I'm going to take another brush. I'm going to take this brush. And it's a dual ended by crown. And I'll go right along the lower lash line. Totally could stop here. But I think I want a little, you know, it's gonna be a night. I want a little something, something. Love it. This is what I wanted to say about the metallics. This checks all the boxes because I don't need Fix Plus to make this really shine. Some palettes you need Fix Plus to really give that pizzazz, but with me, I don't have to do this with this palette. I'm going to go straight in with my finger. If you can tell, look at that. And I'm just going to dab it on my lid. Beautiful, right? <laughs> I love this. I love this palette so much. Sona, you did an amazing job. I've been following her for years. And she's just, she just really knows her stuff. She knows textures. You know, when a person, I'm just glad that this palette is getting the hype that it deserves. Uh, I feel like that it does need more hype. Um, I, was, I have been decluttering and I've been watching a lot of decluttering videos and the great thing about it is you see a lot of people loving this palette and keeping it into their collection. This is not a palette that people are decluttering. As a matter of fact, they're actually really saying how much they love it. I'm going to go back into Humble or whatever is on my brush. I am going back into Humble though. And look how easy and simple that was. I think I am going to put on some lashes just to pizzazz it up, but we'll keep it there for now. But I absolutely love that. I am going to go and to back into, I'm going to go a little bit into Sassy and I'm just going to pop that just to brighten that area. Y'all see how easy this is? This is great for someone that does not know what to do with makeup, but want to wear eyeshadows. You can get this at Ulta. This checks all the boxes. Like I have no negative comments about this. Even the packaging, even though it's white, the type of material that it's made out of, it's easy to wipe off. But this is like a travel palette. The size is perfect. It has a mirror. It has the names on the front and the back. Like it looks chic. Like, I would pay more money for this palette, to be honest with you. So I'm just saying, you know. I'm gonna go into Boldly Bare and line my lips. Actually filling them in. Boldly Bare really makes your teeth look white. Do I wanna go peach or nude? I think I wanna go peach. This is a matte shaker by Lancome and it is in the shade New Devotion. I'm just gonna dab this. I love using this because it gives the perfect amount of color and still makes it look like my lips. We're going to end it with Caudalie. And what would day night be without a nice spring, beautiful, breezy perfume? This is Tier de Lumiere by L'Occitane. I love this, y'all. It smells so good. And I will leave the notes down below, but I love the spritz. And that's it, you guys. 
this is my everyday actually this is my everyday look i am going on a date night i'm just going to add some lashes but everybody doesn't do that so i'm going to keep it like this i do already have on mascara and i love this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching you guys i'll see you guys in another video bye ladies.